with the Casino Heist update officially underway, we've had some new additions in the motor vehicle section of Los Santos. Hello everyone, I'm your host, ACF Wolfman, and you are watching Full Throttle, and we have today the I didn't look at the name it is the the Karen Evion so we'll be looking we'll be checking this girl out in just a second Okay, so one of the new cars to be added to the game. A off roading pickup truck based on the Toyota Hilux, um, which was featured in an episode of the British British version, I'm assuming. I don't know if there's any other country version, but British version that I know of, of a show called Top Gear which this series is very much inspired by or inspired on, whichever one it is um, now I know I've been uploading a lot of Casino Heist walkthroughs kind of thing um, but let's just say after having a look at the ending and how it plays out I'm not financially depending on the heist to pay my bills of this game or my mechanics or anything so let's just leave it as that but the Karen Evion Evoron Ev Ev I'm not sure um, off-roading clearly one of the very first things you'll probably notice if you play this game a lot is the tires they have changed that has actually been updated on all off-road vehicles uh, well, any off-road vehicles that you change. If you buy a vehicle, if you buy an off-road vehicle with the old um, tires, it will still have them tires, but they will change when you put custom rims on. Any off-roading vehicle, any off-roading car vehicles um, from this point onwards will have these tires. Um, I will show you a little bit them later once we go through the customizations. Um, but just a bit of a look. It is a adventurous type vehicle. It is meant for explorations, and it is meant for mountains. Um, but again, we'll get onto some of them details in a minute. But let's have a look at the customizations. As you can see, this is what I have on mine. What are you after? Kind of basic, but very adventurous. Uh, it's quite wide. It's also not very long, but it's also very chubby. Also, um, so the bumpers start from the top. You just have that, just a plain, plain bumper. We got the splitter and, and that winch and then lights and then again another bull bar bull bar winch lights and bull bar bull bar winch lights unfortunately you can't get any without the splitter which is kind of a bummer because the splitter looks kind of awful it looks a bit weird but oh well it's there there's if not much we can do can about it. it I can do it the rear bumper you got the stock which is kind of I think is a plastic maybe a little bit of chrome on there then you got chrome bumper one chrome bumper two which is a bit more bulkier I went for number two because it's a bit more sleek exhaust we've got the stock which is just a single one as you can see there two coming no out the side off. and two coming straight out the back the hoods stock, secondary, carbon, primary, the 
little black bit on the front. Secondary and carbon and vented. Secondary carbon. Vented with a guard. And scoop. Scoop with the guard. Do you need a drink? Um vented Bubbles with the guard. And there you go. So you can either have them or you can have them with a guard on it, which I think is pretty good. Liveries, some pretty cool liveries going on, obviously. Play plain black plain uh single black stripe which ends at the handlebar to open up the trunk. How many then a white one that does the same. Then black two times the middle, a little bit on the side, and then a white version. Another two times black down the front with a little switcheroo of the uh, of the back bit. Uh, and then you got the Patriot on there, American flag, which is kind of annoying for me. Think long um, I didn't notice the little little American flags on there. It's kind of annoying me that that flag is actually backwards. Obviously, we know that stars are on the top left, but you swing it around and you got the stars on the top right. Kind of, I guess I know why, but it's me being me OCD would kind of would kind of put me off. Um, Child of the Mountain, which is kind of like a branded company kind of thing. Uh, you got the Harsh Souls, which is kind of a not a punk rock but a kind of heavy metal type person would have disruption logistics which is what kind of a design. branded off-road and racer in livery and then you obviously got the piss bar so you got to get an alcohol brand in there at some point so that's what I've got respray primary color does Pretty much the entire car. It's been not yeah, it doesn't look pretty nice in purple actually. Ooh, am I Life is hard. I won't change the dark red. But that is the primary and obviously the secondary is like we said, all the kind of additional bits that you can change on it. Roll cage. We've got no roll cage, which depending on what you're going for doesn't look too bad. Be honest. Then you got a little um, sh you a short it, bed I cover, which just puts a little metal bit over it. Then you got the container rack, then container rack with the containers, roll cage, roll cage with lights, roll cage with light, um, roll cage with um, container rack, and then basically everything slapped into one. The roof. We have plane. No rush at all. R uh, secondary carbon. Uh, vortex generators over there. Vortex fins even. Carb. Secondary carb. Then the roof bars. Again secondary carbon. Then some more storage on there. Some with skis. Again, depending on what you're going for, which isn't too bad. Again, secondary and carbon on that. Or then a roof rack, secondary carbon. But I went for that. Just because... Yeah. Uh, then the skirts, you got the steps, you got that one. That one. And then one with the little grooves in the middle. Spoiler. Which we'll get onto in a minute, but that's the spoiler. How many cars you got in this garage so, again? Yeah. Yeah. Suspension, that's how it looks like all the way down. It looks really stupid. It looks like an oversized RC car. It can't it looks awful, quite frankly. Because the type of wheels that are on it. So uh right, so the wheels, the stock rims are these. Notice how the tyres are not the normal ones that you're used to. And then obviously if you put normal other tyres on it they are huge. Um, but if we were to go to 
an extra example. Um, SUV, like that. Low rider, you know, you can have giant white wall tyres on there, kind of looks like a dinker. Uh, but if you were to go to off road, stock tyres, stock tires, custom tyres. Slightly different, but these are custom tyres that you will get anytime you put off road tyres on a car, and quite frankly, they look Whatever much better than the old ones. Technology and budget permitted. To be honest. And then, obviously, windows, as you know. Um, <clears throat> but what we're going to do now is I'm going to take this outside I'm always here. and I'm going to cut to this thing going around our test track to see what kind of lap it puts in. Now I'm not expecting it to go fast because it is an off-road pickup truck but let's just see how quickly it can go around the track shall we I don't know what the time is, but what I can say from what I remember is it was quite slidey without that spoiler on the back. Um, mainly because obviously the spoiler does add the traction and the grip and the control. And this thing is very tail happy sometimes. Um, it's also very heavy on the turning. It feels like, I mean, I'm, I'm used to not used to driving supercars and sports cars, but I have my selection of cars that I use for races. So I'm used to a quick, smooth, grippy turn. This isn't. Um, I'm not saying that it's not. I'm not saying that it's not going to be good at races, um, but with, I would suggest if you are going to use it for races, then get a spoiler on this thing. Um, I might use it once, just to see how it does competing against others. Um, but. Um, I mean, casual driving, it's pretty good, I enjoy it, it's fun, um, it's very, it's definitely different to what we're used to, it's one of the first new vehicles to have the new tyres, um, and with them being quite big you do get a decent look at what they look like, um, 
also another thing. It likes to roll. If you hit a corner just right as you go around it, um, chances are you will roll. Let me see if I can do it. I'm not going to be able to do it now because I'm trying to do it. Let me jump over that. I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, but uh, it's one of them things where if you catch it right, you will roll over. I'm just going to keep trying to do it on this little bit here. Um, yeah, you will roll it. So just be wary of that. Um, but control wise, not horrible. It's controllable. Um, it's quite easy to get over things, as you can see there. I'm just gonna have to I'm just gonna turn around here. We're gonna go to a little mountainy bit just up here. Um, but this is fully engine turboed and everything, so it should have no problem getting up hills. Um, I have had a little bit of a play with it to get up hills, but what we're going to do is we're going to go right to the bottom we can stop rolling around from a standstill and we are going to try and set off from a complete standstill on a not it's not a steep hill but it's not exactly this the flattest bit of road so let's see how it does and with complete utter ease no problem there. Um, it's actually quite fast. The acceleration is quite good. But going up a hill, it does have a bit of struggle if you have a little bit of a wobbly moment before trying to go up the hill, but you're going... F excuse the, um, the phrase, but if you're going uh, full throttle, you'll have no problem getting over little bumps. But it is quite bouncy, as we've just seen there. Um, currently stuck in a tree. Nope, hang on, there we go. Oh no, the tree. Mother Nature is no match for this. Look at that, now we're mocking it by going up the hill it's created in reverse. And there we go, it's rolled. See, that's what I'm talking about. With the suspension high up, it does like to roll. There we go. Just, you know, just, just, uh, yeah. Very comedic parallel park in there. So, overall result, very good to drive, very fun to drive. Um, racing style, probably not going to be winning much, but with the speed and acceleration, you ain't got too much turns, you might do good. Um, but anything that involves maybe bumpy jumps or rough roads with a lot of sharp turns, you want to be using that brake. See, look at that. That's on a straight bit of road and I'm flipping over a curb. So. sharp turnings on bumpy roads you want to try to avoid or use your brake don't go around it full pelt because you will roll um, but straight roads like these quite easy turns to make no problem but sharp turns like this you need to be using your brake cut yeah because that acceleration if you get the if you accelerate at the right time you do get a bit of speed going on um, after a handbrake so it will be a bit tricky to control after them liftoffs but that is the Ka Karen? Karen? How do you say it? 
I think it's Karin. Karin Iveron. Iveron, I'm gonna call it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, the price. Hang on, let's just have a look on the. Let's check it out on the website, shall we? Uh, it's not a cheap one. I will say that. For some reason, it's so much. Uh, but it is. Uh, obviously, 1.475 mil. Um, buying it straight away. 1.16. 1.106250 if you buy it after completing the Diamond Casino heists as a host slash leader. Um, so you got a pretty good price difference in there um, if you complete the heists. But like I said at the beginning, I'm not financially depending on this heist, luckily. So not all that troublesome for me but if you've completed it and you're wary about buying this um, then you know, it can also act like a boat because it is very high um, but yeah if you're wary about buying it watch this decide after watching it and uh, make a decision but me, I like pickup trucks anyway, so I had to get it. The moment I knew a pickup truck was coming, I, I, I had to get it. Because uh, I love pickup trucks, which you will see in a soon video, probably. But, this was today's episode of Full Throttle, the Karen Ivryon, and hopefully I will see a lot more on the streets of LS, and I will see you next time.